Hi. In this session, let us discuss what is diagonalization of a matrix. And given a matrix, how to write it in the diagonalized form. So first, let us start with the square matrix, that A, B, A square matrix of size n by n. And we say a vector is an eigenvector when A times x equal to lambda times x. And this value lambda we call the eigenvalue for this eigenvector x. Now start with this matrix A and start with another matrix whose columns are nothing but eigenvectors of A. Then A times this matrix is nothing but the first column will be AX1, the second column AX2 and so on AXN. So we are assuming that these Xi's are eigenvectors with the corresponding eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2 and all. Therefore, this one can be written as lambda 1 times x1, lambda 2 x2 and so on lambda n xn. And it can be expressed as a matrix product that is x1, x2 and so on xn. These are the columns. Whereas the matrix here is lambda 1, 0 and so on 0. So this multiplied with uh, these vectors will give me lambda 1 x1 that is the first column. Now the second column 0, lambda 2 and so on 0 and so on 0, 0 and at n lambda n. Okay. Now we got this form a matrix multiplied with p which gives me p times of diagonal matrix. Okay. So let us assume that this p is invertible. Let's assume that P is invertible. It means A can be expressed as P D P inverse. That's what we multiplied with P inverse on both sides. Therefore, we get this form A equal to P D P inverse. Remember one thing here we had an assumption. Assumption is that P is invertible. When a matrix P is invertible, when it has linearly independent columns. It means the eigenvectors, this x1, x2 and so on xn, these eigenvectors must be linearly independent. Means if you matrix, if you take a matrix P which contains linearly independent eigenvectors, then I can say that AP, I mean A can be expressed as P D P inverse. And how many linearly independent eigenvectors you need? N independent eigenvectors. Okay. Now a matrix is said to be diagonalizable when it can be expressed in this form A equal to P D P inverse for some invertible matrix and that invertible matrix is nothing but a matrix with linearly independent eigenvectors of A. If it is a matrix of size n then you should have n linearly independent eigenvectors. Now. Let's look at a problem. So here is A. So what are the eigenvalues of this matrix? We need to write characteristic equation. So characteristic equation of A we need to write. And then the roots of the characteristic equation. These are the eigenvalues of A. What is the characteristic equation determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0? This is called characteristic equation. Now for this matrix, if you look at the eigenvalues, they are going to be negative 2, 3 and 6. So the eigenvalues are distinct here. No two eigenvalues are equal. Okay. So when the eigenvalues are distinct, then the corresponding eigenvectors for these eigenvalues will be linearly independent. It means if you take the eigenvector for lambda equal to negative 2, let me say that is x1 and x2 and x3. x2 is for 3, x3 is for 6. So these three eigenvectors will be linearly independent. And let me write what are these uh, x, I mean x1. So, so the first one is negative 1, 0, 1. And the next one is 1, negative 1, 1. And x3 which is 1, 2, 1. See, it is not that I got them directly. You need to solve this linear system. For example, if you want to find the eigenvector for lambda equal to minus 2, you need to solve a minus lambda times identity 
multiplied with x equal to 0. So the solution set of this matrix, I mean this linear system is nothing but the eigenspace for lambda equal to minus 2. So from that you need to take one vector. So I can similarly you need to find the eigenvector for lambda equal to 3, lambda equal to 6. So once if you get the eigenvectors, you know that these are distinct. Why? Because the eigenvalues are distinct. Sorry, these are linearly independent because the eigenvalues are linearly distinct. So here the matrix P is nothing but x1, x2, x3. And what is the diagonal matrix? So the diagonal matrix is, see if you write x1 here, x1 is related to minus 2. So the first element I should write minus 2. Next this is 3. And next it is related to 6. So 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So therefore, A can be expressed as A equal to P, D, P inverse. We know what is P. Let me write which is negative 1, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, and 1, 2, 1, and d, which is minus 2, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 6, and it's inverse, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, it's inverse. So this is how a can be expressed. And this is the diagonalized form of A. Okay. Now let us look at the another problem. Here, this is the matrix. You can see that the row sum is a, is five, so definitely five will be one of its eigenvalue. Okay. And if you look at the remaining two eigenvalues, they are nothing but one comma one. Why? Because you can see the characteristic equation of this matrix is lambda minus five times lambda minus one whole square equal to zero. So this is the characteristic equation of A. Okay. Here eigenvalues are not distinct. Suppose if you are asked, asked that whether this matrix is diagonalizable or not, then here you need to check. See, in the earlier case, from the eigenvalues itself, I can directly say this matrix is diagonalizable. Why? Because eigenvalues are distinct. Therefore, the corresponding eigenvectors are linearly independent that implies the matrix is diagonalizable. But here the eigenvalues are not distinct. So one is repeated two times. It means algebraic multiplicity of one that is two. Now we need to see what is the geometric multiplicity of one. Geometric multiplicity I mean the eigenspace for lambda equal to one. It means if we solve this system like for lambda equal to 1, that is a minus identity with x equal to 0. So you need to look at the solution set of this linear system. If it is two dimensional, then I say the geometric multiplicity of 1 is 2. If it is one dimensional, the geometric multiplicity is 1. But we need to find here what it is. To remember one thing, we say a matrix is diagonalizable when algebraic multiplicity equal to the geometric multiplicity. This must be true for every eigenvalue lambda. Okay, So let me see what it is here. So a minus identity, this gives me 1, 2, 1, uh, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. Wow. So there is only one equation, x, y, z, this is equal to 0, 0, 0. Now there is only one equation that is x plus y, 2y plus z equal to 0. Therefore, you can express z in terms of x and y. So z equal to uh, negative x, negative 2y. Okay. So if you write the solution space, that is what we call eigenspace, eigenspace of lambda equal to 1, that is, so x is x itself, y is y itself, but when it comes to z, this is negative x, negative 2y, okay. So where x and y are, x comma y are from real numbers. 
and you see in the solution set how many parameters are there i mean how many variables are here there are two variables x and y therefore the solution space is of two dimension therefore the geometric multiplicity is two so these two are equal definitely the matrix is diagonalizable okay now our aim is to find what are those two independent eigen vectors here you do one thing substitute x equal to 1 y equal to 0 that gives me 1 0 negative 1 and next time substitute x is 0 y is 1 then you get this so therefore my x2 is going to be this and x3 will be this and i should write eigen vector for this eigen value 5 you see one thing this 5 is nothing but row sum whenever row sum is same we know that that row sum is an eigen value and the corresponding eigen vector is 1 1 so therefore for this matrix p is nothing but 1 1 1 1 0 negative 1 and this is 0 1 negative 2 so this is what our p is and so a can be expressed as p times d times p inverse yeah i should write what is this d now the diagonalized form is nothing but 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 so okay so here the matrix is diagonalizable and this is the diagonal diagonalization form a equal to p d p inverse and next let us look at this problem given this matrix what are its eigen values first of all is it diagonalizable the question is is it diagonalizable so first i need to see the characteristic equation if you observe that the characteristic equation will be lambda minus 1 whole cube equal to 0 right so therefore the eigen value is nothing but 1 1 1 see anyway to get this characteristic equation you need to do some work i am directly writing here okay So now algebraic multiplicity of one, which is three. Now let me see what is the geometric multiplicity. It means you need to see the dimension of solution space of dimension of solution space of a minus lambda i, where lambda is one here. So a minus i multiplied with x equal to zero. So let me write what is a minus i here. Which is negative three, negative one, which is negative four, and negative seven, negative five, two, three, three, one, two, one. This multiplied with x, y, z equal to zero, zero, zero. Okay. So I need to see its solution set. I'll do one thing. I'll reduce it to uh, echelon form. Let me do that. Two minus one one. That is correct. So if I apply some row operations here, I'll interchange rows. So I'll take the last row as first row. Okay, and the next, um, next. I'll subtract. This is the operation I am going to make. R two minus two R one after interchanging. After interchanging, I am doing it. Okay. So when you do that, you'll get zero. Uh, two. Two minus two zero, and whereas three minus four negative one, and three. I mean, this is uh, three minus two one. This is zero. And next. Now R three plus four R one. R one it means I mean I am taking this R one. Okay, let me write it as R one star after changing, um, after interchanging the rows. Okay, so this will be zero. Negative seven plus this will be eight one. Negative five plus four negative one zero. Yeah. now it is easy to see the equations 
and whereas uh, from the first equation x plus 2y plus z equal to 0 from this x can be expressed as minus 3z therefore if you look at the eigen value or the eigen space x is negative 3z y is z and z is z itself okay now the solution space if you look at the solution space which is nothing but uh, uh, z times negative 3 1 1 where z belongs to real numbers so what is its dimension so dimension of the solution space which is nothing but 1 here so therefore and therefore the geometric multiplicity geometric multiplicity of 1 is 1 but what is the algebraic multiplicity of uh, 1 that is 3 so 3 is not equal to 1 therefore the given matrix is not diagonalizable. This matrix is not diagonalizable. Okay. Right. So I hope you understand this. Thank you. Bye.